Hello and welcome, my name is Kelly. I own Dog Kind Training. I specialize in building confidence in extremely fearful dogs, puppy mill rescues, feral dogs, overseas rescues, any dog who struggles with normal, quote unquote, normal day-to-day -day things. And today I will be talking about what confidence building might look like in a practical sense when it comes to our dogs and what one thing can you start today to start building your dog's confidence. So reinforce your dog's strengths to build confidence. So this is for you if your dog is anxious or fearful and you're just not sure where to start to build confidence. How do we build confidence in dogs? This is some of the sort of perspective I took away from my recent research into how behaviorism views, views confidence and feelings like confidence. Feeling confident is or can be a product of success. And what does that mean for dogs? Well, dogs are successful when their skills work for them to get good stuff, or really to get whatever it is they need. But we're gonna be talking about positive reinforcement in confidence building. So how can we make this happen for our dogs? Well, positive reinforcement skills training is the way to go if you want to build confidence. So we're building a history of success for our dogs. Things you can do today to get started is to identify one behavior your dog is already good at, by which I mean they do, they do it somewhat frequently. It doesn't have to be a trained behavior. It should be something that you don't at least mind them doing, but something that they are already doing. And then you're going to work hard to reinforce that behavior as consistently as you can. That might mean you just giving treats or toys or whatever your dog loves whenever they do that behavior. But that could also mean arranging the environment to make sure that positive reinforcement, something good, is being provided by the environment, especially if you have a very fearful dog who you can't just hand treats to. And then reinforce it every time you see it, wherever your dog does it. This will help to build some generalization, which is ve also very important for confidence building. Here are some examples from Pancake. And I wanted to show you examples from Pancake because early on he didn't do that much. He didn't have that many behaviors that he was doing, at least in the traditional sense that you would think of as things you would want to reinforce. But he was, he was doing things that I, that I could reinforce. One thing I worked on reinforcing early and often was eating. And that sounds really basic, and why would you have to reinforce eating? But the issue with Pancake, and with many very fearful dogs, is that he wouldn't eat when I was nearby, so in my presence. Here's just a very brief example. Here's Pancake early on, he's sitting in his little bed. I'm in the upper right-hand corner of the video, and I'm going to toss a treat to him. And then I'm just um, kind of watching him. And the next treat I deliver will be contingent on, so following him eating the first treat. You see, it took him a second to decide, am I gonna do this? Am I gonna go get that treat? But once he went to get it, I'm kind of watching him without staring at him because he wouldn't eat if I was looking right at him. Then I would do another treat. So not only do you get the good thing, the good treat you just ate, but as soon as you, swallow it, here comes another treat. So that's an example of building eating behavior, which even if your dog is very fearful and shut down and doesn't do a lot, this is something you can probably work on. Initially, I couldn't do it the way you saw in that video clip just now. I couldn't sit in the room with him. So I would just have to deliver food and leave and wait till he ate it. Sniffing out food is another behavior that uh, Pancake was pretty good at, and I bet most of your dogs are good enough at that you could make this into one of their skills that they can have success at. This is something that you can work on in a scent work class. I do have an online scent work class if you're looking for something more structured. But let's look at some examples of Little Pancake learning to sniff out food and practicing that and sort of winning and having success over and over. Here he is very early on before I had made many improvements to that safe space sniffing for food um, outside his, of his crate. And then in a moment, you'll see a little scent work game. He could only do this if I were nowhere in sight, but I'd set up some scent work hides here. And this was something again, he could do. And not only am I hopefully reinforcing sniffing here, but also moving around. And for our really fearful dogs that tend to hunker down and hide, this can be a good exercise for them. 
So he's having a lot of success in his using his sniffing and moving around behaviors. Uh, the last example I wanted to touch on was looking at me. And this is one that probably all of your dogs do all the time or frequently. Even if you have a really fearful dog who's still afraid of you, chances are they're going to look at you when you, you know, make a noise or walk into the room. And that's another thing that you can make work for them to get good stuff. Here Pancake is sitting on a bed, not looking at me. I'm just waiting. I'm not queuing at this point. He looks. I toss a treat to him. After a little while, he's sniffing around. I just wait again. As soon as he looks again, I toss another treat. So this is a very simple behavior that most of your dogs are probably already doing. That if you're struggling with, what can I reinforce to build confidence, to help my dog build confidence, this is a good one. And it's a very useful behavior to have out in the world as well. So your action steps or homework for this video, pick that one behavior, reinforce it consistently, and reinforce it everywhere you see it since we want our dogs to succeed in many different contexts so that they feel confident in many different contexts. Of course, we can't ask them, are you feeling confident? But we're hoping that by building these skills and, and building strong learning histories of positive reinforcement for using the skills, or when they use the skills, we are getting that feeling of confidence. Just a quick plug for our uh, free guide, Caring for Your Fearful Dog. If you don't have this already, you can go to this link, put in your email, and the PDF will come to you, dogkindtraining.com care.